We're doing another Mark 1 MR2, but this one's special. This was a request from uh, other people that saw the last Mark 1 we did with the motor that's in, in this car. Just wait towards the end and we'll show you the motor. And let me introduce you to the owner. Tell me your name and what do you drive? My name's Eddie. I drive a 87 MR2, a MK1 or Mark 1 for the keyboard warriors. And uh, had MR2 since I first started driving. Somebody called me and said, hey, we got a car. You want it? Picked it up had MR2s ever since then. What's the motor that's in there? It's a 3S GT, fourth generation. Uh, it came from a 97 to 2003 Toyota Caldina, which is sort of like a souped up SUV. Okay. And uh, they're, they're good motors, uh, unopened stock, you're easily 250. Okay. So tell me, what's your wheel and tire setup here? Uh, the wheels, nothing special. They're Ambient RS18s, 15 by eight. Uh, I think offset's 25. I have them wrapped in 225, 45, 15 RS3s. How do you like those RS3s? I love them, love them. They're, they're great tires and great for the money, that's for sure. Let's check out the back ones. And you, and you said that they're all the same around, yes, right? Yes, it's all square setup. Okay. Uh, not a fan of a staggered setup. It really changes the characteristics of the car, at least in my preference of driving. I like square setup, put the biggest tire I can fit under it and I'm happy with them. What did you do for suspension wise? Uh, for suspension, I'm running ground control sleeves with Coney Yellow shocks. Okay. Uh, I'm running a sway barless setup. I was recommended that for, from a fellow Auto X guy, uh, very popular on the forums. His name's X Head. Okay. And um, I'm running 600 in the front and 400 in the rear. Spring rates. Spring rates, correct. Uh, okay. Coney's in the front. They're having trouble keeping up, but they're doing a good job, that's for sure. Okay. I think the interior was pretty much stock, right? Yeah, nothing fancy. Bosch uh, boost gauge. Okay. It's always up there, so I leave it like that. <laughs> how, how many pounds are you boosting? Uh, right now it's 12. Okay. Uh, it, it goes up to about 13, 14, but then it tapers off to 12 all the way to red line. The blue interior screams 80s to me. It does. I hate <laughs> it, but hey. Let's uh, check out the engine now, which is like the the star of the of the show right here yeah so what's going on here explain to me from so the beginning this is a 3s gt fourth generation which came from 97 to i believe 2002 okay and uh it's called a toyota caldina sort of like a suv slash minivan um what i did to make this easier because it comes with a all-wheel drive setup automatic okay so I pretty much just pick up the motor and then I use a second generation MR2 NA transmission and axles. Okay. The only thing I had to do to make that work is purchase a hybrid clutch. Okay. A uh, big shout out to Prime Performance, these guys right here. Anything you need, 3S GT related, these guys. I have literally purchased every single part. I have questions, they answer, they pick up the phone. Okay. Cool. I, I love it. I love that about them. So they pretty much have everything to make this conversion. Okay. And you did this yourself? Yes, I did this by myself in my backyard with a jack stand and hand tools. That's <laughs> with Harbor Freight jack stands. <laughs> Harbor Freight jack stands. Eighty nine ninety nine. There you go. Can't beat it. Um, I've never seen um, a fan on an intercooler. That's interesting. Describe that. There's zero airflow on this car. Uh, most owners know there's no airflow. The way to make this work properly would be to run a water to air. Uh -huh. I'm a cheap bastard. Went to eBay, picked it up for 80 bucks, and it seems to be doing fine. This originally comes in a front wheel drive car, yeah. so the way the intercooler is mounted is mounted all the way across, motor switched around, and the car has a hood scoop. Okay. So there's no issue with that. A lot of guys run it just to get their car running, and then once you start upping up the boost, it's mm -hmm. always good to get an aftermarket intercooler okay and you were telling me that this turbo i don't know if you guys can see but he was telling me that the manifold for the turbo are both like yeah. one piece uh your toyota doing the stuff they always do um they decided uh first second and third generation motors of these you can actually remove the turbo from the exhaust manifold mm -hmm. so if you want to do an upgrade all you have to do is purchase aftermarket turbo for this one, the exhaust manifold is cast into the turbo, so it's all one piece. Oh man. So if you want to upgrade your turbo with what typically the SW20 guys do, you have to get a third generation exhaust manifold. But the good thing is like reliability, you don't get exhaust leaks. No, or, the, the, or for, me, leaks. for me, I bought this 
a car to leave it somewhat stock platform okay. oem reliability oem ecu get up in the morning it can be 30 degrees it could be 100 degrees okay starts up right away the only thing that to keep in mind for somebody that's doing it wire gap or mr 2020 v on the forums great customer service got the wire harness 400 bucks plugged it in started like that and yep. what it and what did you have to do for the transmission modification wise the shifter uh for the for the shifter i had to make it longer so all i did was cut the shifter welded an all thread and that gives me all the adjustment i want so what exactly did you do to the shifter in other words to make this shifter work the side to side cable was way too short so i literally just cut it re-weld it and put a coupling nut so i can adjust it as much as oh, i want to where gotcha, i want gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. smart Tell us about the exhaust that you got going on there. Here I come, being cheap again. Picked up a Evo 10 exhaust. Guys are throwing them out left and right. I think I purchased maybe 20, I purchased it for maybe about $20. Made it fit. The one thing I like about this is it's quiet. Uh -huh. And if I ever want to get an aftermarket exhaust, I can literally buy any off the shelf cat back and it will fit. That's cool. Um, smart thinking, I'm not gonna lie, like it's convenient. All right, so we're gonna hear the exhaust. We first warmed it up so we uh, didn't damage the motor. Go for it. One more time. Cool. All right, so we're gonna start mounting the cameras and then we'll go for a drive. I have to, I have to redo this review now because the SD card on the GoPro had an error. So I'm probably not going to look as excited as I was the first time. But uh, we're driving a 1987 uh, MR2 Mark 1 uh, B, uh, yes. which which was the, the second version of the Mark 1, right? Second revision. They changed the tail lights. Uh, they added some uh, front accents to the bumper. Uh, changed some suspension things. I know a lot of uh, AW owners have run into problems where they purchase coilovers thinking they fit their car and lo and behold, it doesn't fit. Uh -huh. So that's definitely one thing to keep in mind. If you have a 85 through 86, chances are you have a MK1A. If you have a 87 through 89, chances are you have a MK1B. There is this gray area with 87s like mine. Uh, you pretty much just have to look at your VIN number and look at the day of production. Okay. So we're gonna go uphill here on the Susan Canyons on our way to Crystal Lake. Um, Right off the back, the first thing that I notice is the shifter. Uh, the shifter's super notchy. And uh, earlier we were doing some pulls and I was having trouble uh, power shifting through the gear. So you kind of have to shift a little slow. Because um, I, I, maybe after driving it for like a couple weeks. Yeah, it, it, it definitely takes some time to get used to. Yeah. But it rev matches and goes into gear no problem. Um, the suspension and the body, the way how stiff it is with the, the wheel suspension and tire setup, is on par with the Miata. Uh, I know last time I said that on the last uh, Mark One that we did, and you guys were like the purest of the MR2 saying like it's nothing compared to that. Well, I've driven both cars, and that's the closest car I've ever driven to this car, so that's why I compare it to that car. I'm not right. saying it's exactly like it, but like I said earlier, it's like, I'm not gonna tell you it drives like a Porsche 911 GT3 if I've right. never driven one. Exactly. So I'm not lying, I'm just telling you the closest thing I know what it feels like. And this feels like a, honestly it feels better than my Miata. And it honestly feels, to me, this car feels more solid than the, the first Mark 1 that we did. Take that, Simon. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Uh, it just feels, I, 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 I might think that because the, the motor might be a little more heavy, it feels a little more stable, I don't right. know. But, uh, I mean, uh, he is running, I think, 205s, but I really don't think the 225s would make that big of a difference. Oh, here's a straightaway. Second gear. Holy smokes. This car is fast. And the engine that's in here, it's the same one that was in the, the Toyota Camry that we did with Javon, the white one. Yes. And that thing uh, got so much torque steer, it was scary, and this feels freaking dope. The power's everywhere. There's no, it doesn't fall on its face at all. And then when it comes on, it's like a big, yeah, uh, all the way through. You all know, the way through and, the, the and, torque and, and that's a big benefit to this motor, which why a lot of people go with it. Is you have full boost at three grand. What turbo motor can you do that on? Yeah, there's, there's not very much. 
then the complaint comes, turbo lag ruins a car and it's better. I never understood that. Did you feel any turbo lag? I don't, because people would, that don't drive turbos don't know how to drive a turbo just, car. Just keep it up. Yeah. They're like, the people that say turbo lag, those are the people that like, when they race on the freeway, they're going to race someone on three honks and then downshift. Yeah. That's not how you drive a turbo no. car. Turbo car, you rev match, get it up there. That's not enough. Yeah. Yeah. All right, there. We're at 4,000, 5,000. That's the that's where the turbo is exactly. ready to go. From there, you punch it. Not uh, shifting from a, from a drop. Right. I think with a steering wheel and a bucket seat right. and a roll bar, this car is fucking, oh my god. It, this is like a hidden gem. This really put the I'm, MR2 I'm, to I'm, me I'm, on the pedestal. I'm telling you. Honestly, when you message me, I'm like, what's that? That much of a difference. Oh, there's a difference. Yeah. This motor is freaking stupid. Dude. All right, so I put up the mic uh, in the back so you guys can hear that turbo spool. Hopefully, you guys can hear it. So that wraps up reviewing the MR2. I feel like it really put the car on the map for me uh, on my scale. Uh, now I really respect the MR2 after driving this car. It was it was crazy, man. Um, thank you so much, Eddie, for sharing your car with us. That was awesome. Um, do you want to do a shout out to your Instagram or something? Uh, yes, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's uh, slow, S-L-O-W, 3S, A-W-11. Okay. Slow, 3S, G-T, A-W-11. <laughs> Um, this car is actually for sale. Okay. If, if you're interested in having a car that's ready to go, that will scare the shit out of you. <laughs> uh, definitely give me a contact on, on Instagram. I also have the car posted on, on Craigslist. Honestly, uh, I'll stand up. It's it, if I haven't driven the car long, but from what I felt, I feel like the car is solid. I don't feel anything wrong with the car. Uh, we were beating the crap out of it and the car was running very efficiently. Email me at mr 2 baka at gmail.com okay i'll put it right here definitely um all right guys so uh thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it if you guys want to support the channel so we can create more content like this uh you can go to www.carsonboardchannel.com where you can pick up a sticker a key tag and uh, we actually have broadway mirrors too for your car so uh thank you guys for watching i love you guys i'll catch you on the next one